Welcome back to another episode guys. Today I'm going to go over my favorite lures for Lake Simcoe jumbo perch fishing. And no I did not steal this hat from Lady Bass. It's mine. I swear. Narrowing these baits down to my top five were actually kind of tough because so many do so many different things. So many do similar things but have little different variations. So I've got my five in no chronological or special order. I'm going to show you my top five just now. A lot of people are going to wonder about this one, but this one is a Rapala Rip and Wrap. Uh, it's got a lot of noise to it. That's mainly why I like this bait. When you first punch your first couple holes and you're looking for fish, the best way to call them in is a lot of noise. If you can tell, that makes a lot of noise. And even little ones I've found this year are very aggressive and little ones have been mowing this bait and big ones don't even think twice they come in and absolutely mangle the thing when it's just sitting there rattling like that it pisses them off they're hungry and all they do is chow it there are no specific colors uh, I found this year so far this color here it looks like a shad uh, so it, it's chrome green and it's got a black top to it that's what they've been crushing so far I have a white one tied on now that they've been crushing uh, and I also have this purple yellow type one here so it may not be the best one but it's certainly one you, to have in your tackle box to call them in and draw their attention An another important part of this bait is on Lake Simcoe you can have two rods down there so you can set this one on the ground when they're not around, shake it up when they come in, boom, have your second favorite lure there, uh, maybe a slab grabber, a Z-Viber, something. Oh, by the way, I'm not sponsored by anyone here. Uh, these are my personal favorite, and it's what I'd go by. Uh, you guys clearly don't have to. So moving on to the next one. All right, the second one we've got here is an Acme Tackle Hyperglide. Uh, this is the smallest size they have here. But as you can see by that hook, fish have just been devouring it. Actually, that was a pike. Um, anyway, so this bait in the water, you can see the wings open up once it hits the water and goes down. There's a little attachment back here. There's a little rubber piece there. You can actually tie your line. So instead of it coasting down with the wings open very slowly, put it through there. Darts all the way down like that at the bottom pretty quick. You give it one nice tug pops out and then you can get your wings going anyway for these I have a bunch of different variations of colors and sizes small ones been working but the size up from this let's see if I can find one here this size here you can see the size difference there this one's been money I don't know why but the perch have been killing the bigger baits this year um, some that I've kept for myself I've checked out the stomachs to see what they've been eating They've been eating giant minnows, probably that big, that thick, uh, which is much larger than that size. That's why I've been relying on the bigger baits. Um, and gobies. So I've, they've been out deep. Gobies can get pretty big, right? So they've been chowing those. Uh, I've got a couple pictures I'll actually put right here right now. Um, anyway, these have been unreal. You put a hyperglide down on the bottom right on the bottom hover it on bottom there and it almost imitates a goby it gets the wings flaring and it attracts the fish so for colors on that I try to stay natural that pink one's obviously not natural but I find that pink draws their attention uh, so I've got a nice chrome and black like a, a normal shiner uh, I've got a little perch color here that's pretty good um, and then when I do go walleye fishing, I use the bigger ones. Maybe I should use these for perch. This one's almost like a, a perch color, just a little more fluorescent. But those are a staple for Lake Simcoe perch. All of a sudden, I just started using them, got into them, and they've been killing them perch. They're, uh, they're really good baits, and I recommend them. So the third bait here, we're going to go with something that everyone knows of. It's the slab grabbers. They vary in many different sizes and colors. For the most part, my favorite has been the orange bead and the silver. I know this is the gold, but I lost a giant the other day with Steve. 
with the silver and I actually broke my three pound line so um, this one's gonna have to do for now I'll have to pick them up but I can't stress enough like everyone out there on Simcoe has been using these definitely a staple for Simcoe all it does is imitate a fish fish's egg which is the easiest thing to prey on because it's not attacking back or there's no fear it's uh it's a very simple bait and it's easy to use and you don't have to do much with it to get their attention so that's the third bait moving on to the fourth fourth bait here I've only been using this year but I've seen a lot of videos in the past if you guys remember Kevin Wong he passed away last year he nailed crappy on this exact lure here that's the Z Viber by Euro Tackle they come in much larger sizes and I'm actually gonna use a larger size tomorrow actually I'll, I'll show you that here it's not too far off from the Rapala which is what I like and I feel like since the Semco Jumbos are crushing big lures right now they might actually eat it so that's that's the larger size there I'll show you the difference this is like the smallest um, lipless in the world so that's not too big of a difference uh, the hooks are the same size basically obviously this being troubles but compared to this Rapala oh my god the I didn't think that. The Rapala is, they're almost identical in size. This one's a little wider, but, oh, the, a little more rattle, but this still got rattles. I, I'm going to have to use that tomorrow. Now that that's, that's in my head, I, I think I can get them on that. But anyway, Z Vibers, they vary in a bunch of different colors too. And the one that's been working the most for me, um, I just kind of threw down there. This is the first one I put a bead on. That's just a little Creek Candy bead right there. Um, and I don't know. I didn't set this up or anything. I, I thought it actually might be bad in the water. This thing shimmies so good on the way down. Like it just gives a good wobble. Um, and that's a, a lot of the time. is That's when that's a. Uh, a lot of the time that's when those fish are hitting it on the way down. Or just when you're sitting there jigging it nice and slowly. Um. Again, another representation of a fish's egg, and then even if they're not craving the egg, you still got something nice and little there to eat and go after. Moving on to the last bait, I just want to note now, after this last bait, I got a couple honorable mentions here, so stay tuned, it'll only take a couple seconds. Last bait here. Everyone knows what these are. Spoons, Swedish pimples, they're all the same type of deal. They all do the same thing and they all attract Simcoe Jumbos. So I got a Swedish pimple there. All it's it's just a spoon. I got a little Northland Tackle Macho Minnow there. And even this larger Northland Tackle spoon, they all work. Tip that with beads, you can tip that with a minnow head. It's gonna get you perched no matter what out there. Um and for the most part, I haven't been using those too much this year, but my good buddy Steve that I fish with has been killing perch on them. Uh, literally, like, every drop, somehow, when I'm using a rattle bait or something like that, uh, his spoon will get the fish almost every time. Probably eight times out of ten. So, for a couple honorable mentions here, um, I do use live bait sometimes, not always, but when I do... I'm using little tungsten jig heads. Let's see if I have any here. Either a middle head or middle body on it. That always seems to work. Um, when in doubt, live minnow is, is always good. So there's just a teeny tiny one there that I've been using uh, with a minnow. Just enough weight that the fish can still swim and you can still get down to the bottom pretty quick. That's basically it. That's That's all I have for you guys, but if you're not going to use a hyperglide or any of these baits here, there are obviously other lures out there. I don't know everything in the world, especially when it comes to the world of fishing. So there are other baits out there that you can use. You just got to explore and try for yourself. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you're slaying jumbo perch like me this weekend. So stay tuned for the next episode. I'm taking my good buddy Ian out. Um, and then we're going to Kempenfelt to hammer some whiteys and lakers, hopefully. 
So I'm pretty pumped. So stay tuned for another episode of 18 Fishing. Peace.